Hi everyone, Pastor Heather here and welcome to this uh, midweek meditation or midweek message uh, of of just practicing, of being in our summer series called Here and Now. And I'm so happy to be with you. So uh, an image is going to come up on your screen and I am not a green thumb person, but I, I want to share this image. It's a plant or maybe it's a weed. I don't know. It's a flowering plant of some sorts. And I saw it on my walk. I live in Como Park and I stopped to take a picture of it because it reminded me of how hard life can be sometimes, right? Like here you have this little seed that somehow got into the crack of a retaining wall of my neighbor and it grew and not only did it grow, but it also produced fruit. It produced a flower. And so uh, it made me think, well, what does it take to have such a hard life uh, that this little flower would grow? And I thought of some things like perseverance and persistence, like you just got to keep at it slow and steady, that it takes talent, <laughs> some kind of hardiness to it, time for sure. And even though it's growing up in the cracks of life, it's still beautiful. It's a beautiful plant. And so it reminded me of our story for today from, uh, or not our story for today, but our story for this Sunday coming up about the message we might hear about the call of Matthew. That Matthew was a tax collector, despised, right? Tax collectors were not, <laughs> did not, were not friends of the people, even though they were Jewish. He is not considered somebody that others would like. Uh, it, it, he, he, as the tax collector, took their money and he worked for the, the occupation nation, which is uh, the Roman government that was there. And they said this, here's how much we want from your city. You collect the tax. You could overcharge people if you want, and then you can keep what's the remainder. That's extortion. That's how it works, right? Uh, and so he was not well liked. But Jesus sees something beautiful in him. I think Jesus realized he probably needed someone good with money to help with, uh, with his work. Here's the beautiful part that reminds me of that image of a flower because life would have been hard for Matthew. It's that Jesus went up to him and said, follow me. Just because it sounds simple doesn't mean it's shallow. It's a command, two words, follow me. And that means that Jesus saw something beautiful in Matthew. That the spirit in Jesus recognized the spirit, the faithfulness, the love, all things good in Matthew. And Matthew did too. And so he stood up and he left. So then what happens next is one of the things I think Jesus loves to do, and that is eat with others. And here he was seeing eaten, eating with tax collectors and sinners. And now we have to understand sinner here. Sinner means not only things that you do wrong or wrongdoings, but it means anything that can separate you from the love of God. Anything, an attitude, the way you handle yourself or handle others, the things you do. It, it can be anything that can keep you from believing in Jesus and following Jesus. And yet Jesus chooses to eat with tax collectors and sinners. I love this image. It's the Last Supper image in our Spark Story Bible. But can you just imagine yourself sitting at this table and eating with Jesus? These are just ordinary people, tax collectors and fishermen. Now, here's what I want to close with. We always talk about uh, being in the right place at the right time with the right people. And if that could happen, we could get it right. We could be perfect at following Jesus. But Jesus ate with tax collectors and sinners. He was always about being in the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong people. And that's how he got it right. Being with people who, in the margins of life, people who are, <laughs> are having a hard time, that's where we can find our work and follow Jesus. All right, everyone, have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.